Assalamualaikum to everyone. I am Rosairi Minti Muhammad Arshad, ID number 8501131464380001 from Bachelor Degree of Human Resource, OUM by me, September 2020 semester for the course of Introduction to Communication, ABCC 1103. In this video, I will be presenting all the implications of communication technology on human relationships as well as the advantages and disadvantages of communication technology applied at workplace. And in overall, I will conclude on all that have been presented. In the first task, I have actually compiled an essay on this topic. So in this video, it will be presented in more brief or in more general. Communication technology, as the picture that I have chosen as my background today, it is shown that due to the technology or due to the advanced technology that we are having now, communication have been made easier for everyone. However, there are implications that have impact on human relationship. Let's take a look at this picture. Due to communication technology, humans are now more obsessed or spending more time on their technology or all the devices that we have in place, such as mobile phone, internet, on television, radio, as well as the other devices that is available that enable us to communicate. Advances in information technology or communication technology, or in short, we call it ICT, have actually made it easier, cheaper, and faster to share information across the street or even across the global. One of the most obvious implications of communication technology on human relationship is that most human interactions happens on virtual um, applications Example, instant messaging on WhatsApp, emails, and any other platform. Due to this, people are more bothered on their online life instead of the actual real life. Take a look at another picture. In this picture, it reflects that instead of having the moment together or sharing the conversation face to face, people are intent to still communicate through this technology of um, applications on a mobile phone, even though they are sitting next to each other. This type of relationship is lack of social interactions. To continue on this point, due to this lack of social interactions, it implied another cause on human relationship. Human interactions and relationships have thus largely decreased. Human to human interaction have been replaced by human to machine interactions instead. Based on a poll uh, done by Pew Research Center, one out of four cell phone owners who are in a relationship or marriage found their partner is too distracted on their cell phone, where nearly one in 10 have argued with their partner about excessive usage or time spent on these devices. Due to this, it will be more likely to be reported an increase of tension and it will indirectly diminish the closeness in relationships as a result from the communication technology that have existed. From the implications that I have shared, it is most likely that communication technology have actually impacted negatively on human. Let us move on on the advantages and disadvantages of applying the communication technology at workplace. At workplace, it is found that the communication technology works differently or it gives more uh, positive impact to all the workers at workplace. Employers nowadays have quickly adapted themselves or their business to communication technology as they can see that there will be more advantage to them. But in my approach, I'll be discussing the sample of communication technology that have been applied to the business and the discussion of the advantage and disadvantage of each communication that have been selected. Let's discuss the first one. Email. In the early days, most communication at workplace are still utilizing letters, a physical copy of on paper 
either handwritten or typed and it will be posted across to another uh, person but due to communication technology email have take place what is email email or also known as electronic mails is a method of exchanging messages between people using electronic devices through the internet mail are deemed the most important communications among workers at workplace. Working has become very easy and simplified such that works which ordinarily take uh, more than a few days to be completed now it can be done successfully within few seconds. In short, with just a click away, worker from different department, different country, different locations can connect effectively via email to establish communication and drive maximum productivity. When there is advantage of email, there will also be the disadvantage of email. The disadvantages of email is there will be no element of personal connection happen when the messages is sent across. Due to this, it can contribute to miscommunication as the first party who sent the message across may not meant what he sent but upon receiving the messages from the other end it was understood differently due to the lack or due to the missing of personal connection the receiver enabled to see the body language that was delivered by the first person due to this there'll be a difficulty in communicating because it may create conflicts and misunderstanding let's take a look at another sample of communication technology that have been applied at work applications on mobile phone yes application have actually evolved and had truly assisted everyone so specifically at workplace most communications have been diverted as an example on whatsapp group where it made it easier to send the inf information or instruction across as for myself example it's easier on whatsapp for me to just ping it across uh, so that it can be discussed tomorrow so that the task delegations is not missed up. I will also be discussing the advantage and disadvantage of the applications on mobile. Advantage of applications on mobile, of course, like I said just now, it made it easier, faster. We can even share different format of information. WhatsApp as an example. You can send text. You can record your audio and have it sent across. You can also send images or videos to ease the instructions to go up. Application are also a real-time communication medium. Whatever you send now will appear on the other person's mobile phones in the next less than one second. It also allows the user to be able to keep themselves updated on the new information or, or what happens or what is happening around them. Let's move on to the disadvantages. It's undeniable that applications on mobile phones benefits to everyone. However, people are becoming more reliant on this technology or on these devices where they tend to neglect uh, to engage personally. A majority of individuals have felt that the quality of their conversation have degraded. This will surely give impact to human sociology because in nature, human do require face-to-face -face interaction. The last medium of communication at workplace that I would like to discuss is the engagement on social media. Almost majority have an account on social media. What is social media? Social media platform have made it even easier to communicate with others. As an example, we have Facebook, we have Instagram, Twitter, and many more. The advantage of social media it gives people a place for them to find things that is of their interest. They can even set their preferences. They will be able to retrieve information from a post or from a group post that they uh, follow. Employers have tend to move into utilizing social media as an engagement medium uh, at workplace. Human resources personnel have surely used and utilized the social media platform to keep their stuff updated. As an example, there is an event that is going to go around in the next week. By having it post on the social media, it spread the words faster. This is one of the advantages of social media for engagement purpose at workplace. Even when individuals are busy with work, they will surely find time to have the interactions on social media to read through what are the new updates, what are the new sharing of information going on, and maybe what do they want to participate in. Through this, it helps to strengthen the relationship between the employees. However, there is a disadvantage of social media. Heavy use of social media have been proven 
to negatively affect mental health. A recent study from the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine examined that depression rates in younger adults finding significantly increased odds of depression among those who spend most time engaged on social media. Who knows, by one person screening through the timeline of uh, an update on Instagram, let's say, they would tend to feel envy, jealous maybe, of what that has been shared from another friend who recently got promoted or an increase in their self. This is among the disadvantage of social media platform. Therefore, one must know its limit in accessing social media in order to curb themselves from having any health issues in future. Again, I would like to share to all. Yes, technology is meant to give out the benefits to all. In brief, the evolution of communication technology should never be blamed for the negative implications that it brings. But how individuals or humans perceived it is what more important. Oneself needs to be aware by equipping themselves with the knowledge and ethics so that these negative impacts can be eliminated and thus optimize the benefits with the greater goods that will surely be the best option. With this, I end my presentation. Thank you.